It is springtime, and that is a time for mental house cleaning. It is a time to rise up in our spirituality and become a better person than we were yesterday. It is a quest of all of us, I know, that read Positive Daily Inspiration and watch these television broadcasts. We do it for one reason. We want to do better. We want to become a better person. We want to make a difference. Well, that begins by a real commitment inside of ourselves to change negative thinking to positive thinking, negative actions to positive actions. Here's a quote that I love. After one hour in heaven, we shall be ashamed that we ever grumbled. Well, heaven, my friend, can be right here on earth right now. It depends on the attitudes that you bring with you into your day. And this weekend, I'm going to ask you to go beyond just thinking that I'm not going to think negative any longer, to taking it out to very specific ways that we demonstrate our daily living. From experience, many of us know that it's easier to criticize than to correct. To criticize or correct. And I'm going to ask you to go to correction first within yourself and then in your actions. Often it's easier to find faults than solutions. Well, if you've got faults over here that you're focused on, solutions over here, we are going to do the spiritual thing and focus on solutions, including in our prayers. And it's excessive criticism that usually leads to destructive, not productive, shadows of living. Yet the urge to criticize remains a, a constant in all that experience human life. And it is an expression of negative thinking. We must find a way to break those twin habits of negative thinking and its child critical speech. As you determine the quality of your comments, can you honestly say that you're a cheerleader and not a critic? If you can, if you can keep up the good words, then you are living the spiritual life. But if you occasionally fall into negativity, if you pass that negativity on to others, well, then it is spreading that shadow of that black cloud instead of the sunshine of the light that you are. And you determine once and for all if you're doing that even a little bit to do a mental house cleaning this spring. You start by redirecting your thoughts to all the blessings that God has given you. You constantly remind yourself of God and God's blessings. And when your hearts are filled with God's love, well, that's when it will also flow out of your lips as well. I close today's message with James 3, verse 5. A word out of your mouth may seem of no account, but it can accomplish nearly anything or destroy it. God bless you.